Well, I've got myself a bit of a surprise here. I uh, joined a match and they insta started. It's two players over here versus me alone. So um, this is going to be an interesting one. I might have to actually try hard this a bit, which I think in this case means mortars because mortars are fun and I like them and I miss them a lot. All right, so I've got my workshop down. I will need a turbine of just to keep up that um, energy production. And the place to put my upgrade center. Uh, my concern is that they're gonna have a lot higher combined APM than I'll be able to deal with. So I'm gonna put a sniper here, probably gonna have to protect this guy. But for the time being, I'll just hope they don't see him. And do this to help with that. So I want to put my mortars right up across here. Well, here they come. Oh, they're going to take him out. Yeah, alright. So they got a guy just sitting there watching me. And that's understandable. Yeah, he's checking every, every part of my background bracing. It's going to be real difficult to do this. Okay, so I need to protect this. Can't do that. One, two, three. Here we go. Mortar down. And mortar down here. I built these one elevated above. So I can put a sniper down, down just underneath them. I don't think I'll need an elevated sniper for this just yet. I'm not hearing anything exceptional out of them. So, we'll find out how that goes. I'm going to not put the sniper here just yet. I want to save up to turn these into heavy mortars before, um, before going down that path. All right, they're just outputting fire. That's just good for them. Not good for me. All right, door time. And sniper goes here. So one, two, three, repair that. And set these, set these going. Right there, right there looks good. That's a little bit high. A little too much power. I don't see an immediate reaction out of them. Alright, so they've got a lot of armor just sitting there. That's good for them. Or, by armor I mean just like ablative, ablative, that, that word, ablative, that's the word I'm looking for. Ablative armor in the form of just wood and struts, which is good. But I can peel that away with the mortars and pick off their defenses. Okay, so I need to start exchanging these for metal because I'm floating, so I don't float the resources. It looks like they were going for upgraded machine guns which I need to be very careful about but we just took out one of them There's, they're, they're bound to have a second one in there but it's another shot in, this, in the same direction should peel open their core and I think I need to upgrade this guy there we go keep that going add armor here add armor here there we are fire this again and fire sniper right through there. There we go. Now, a lot of people mention in the comments that I don't protect my wind turbines. Notice how I've not floated any resources. I don't have any resources spare. And yet, my turbines are undefended and it hasn't cost me anything. This is just because players tend to not attack turbines. It's just... Too inconvenient, I suppose. Too much APM. I'm okay with this. So what I'm going to do is get myself my own upgraded machine gunner. Because I will now have the resources to do so. Alright, that happened. Fire all three, try to get a burst deep in there. Nothing. So this is two players in one base. 
I need to keep these mortars constantly firing. Uh, do I want another sniper? Let me add another machine gunner here. Can't fit that there. Alright, what else can I do to expedite this process? I think I can need to change, lower the power just a little bit to splash across his metal. So he can't keep replacing, replacing things. Alright, a little bit too little power. The sniper is back. Let me take care of that. Gone. It's a little bit more power, an extra 1%. There we go, that might do it. There we go. And use these to peel back some of the wood struts. Just to p keep up with the resources. Uh, I need to add some of these so I can start transitioning toward other things. Batteries in a dangerous position, I know. Don't think they're gonna, I don't think they're gonna capitalize on it being there. Alright, so that, that should have actually exposed his core, and by exposed, I mean... There we go. Alright, so there's a swarm missile, so I don't have to worry too much. Yeah, we're clear. And the snipers can actually penetrate that. And so can the, cause look at the machine gunners once the mortars clear it out. There we go. GG. Alright, so it's we're back again. Same two players. It's two versus one at the moment. These two guys in there for it. Versus myself, all all alone. Now, one thing I noticed in the last round, they had one guy focusing on economy and progress, and the other guy just constantly just eyeballing my base. Like picking and prodding at everything I was doing. Which was very good for them. Um, they could use a little bit more practice, but it was actually quite impressive and nice to see. It was almost like I was facing off against Quick's cover again. Or Pyro. Or, or Narf. Or really any of those tight top tier players. I'm going to do a similar strategy this time, except this time I'm going to go with shotguns because those are much more powerful than mortars in, in this meta. This day and age. So I want to put these right up here, I think, is the best place for them. So two and a half high. Two and a half high. That's right there. And then two and a half high again. There we go. That's not stable. I don't have a, a build that actually makes these work. My concern is that if I'm being risky and building these out here like so, that they might just get shot. Oh, this is going to be in the way of my turbine. That's actually a legit, a real very big problem. I build that up there. Build this here. Build this out. Build up. Yeah, he's building flat armor, so I can do shotguns here. I'm going to stick with flak for the moment. Because flak can actually be used. What on earth is he doing? Yes, there's something there for you to hit. Alright, replace this with a door. Expose these. Because they're missile rushing me. And put these back. Thank you. Alright. In that case, I need to uh, kick up the pressure here. So I'm not going to be able to keep... Keep taking those hits. Especially when they got a sniper watching me. I do need to get a battery here because these things take up power. So that's not going to be a nuke. So I can just eat that shot. Set these up. There we go. Oh, well, that's actually going to do some damage. Yeah. The top one just burned down. Yay. Come on. Extinguish. Thank you. 
Okay, double shotgun it is then. Let's try to clean out some of his uh, metal. And put a rocket down here. Now, unfortunately, shotguns aren't something you can refire. I see that up there. I'll have to come back to that later. I'm going to build a sniper up top here. Get rid of his sniper. There we go. Replace this with wood just so it doesn't damage my... Uh... There we go. I'm going to fire these real quick. And then put the door back. Oh, 328. That's a lot of that's a lot of uh, a lot of metal price. Those things are pricey, aren't they? Put a sniper up here. Put him on hotkey two. Prepare to get myself a rocket down here. I'll probably just be firing this as an EMP for a while. See, so all right. So we still got nothing there. These uh, these shots will be doing damage and costing him materials despite not being terribly destructive that's really all I need at the moment just to delay him enough to get out more where did that come from right there all right that's not good cover did that break anything not really Alright, so I'm floating metal, getting a metal store just to keep up with my inadequacy. Remove that. There we go. He's put himself, he's got himself double, du double bracing. Good for him. Upgrade these guys. I'm going to need the damage output real quick here. Uh, no, there's nothing behind that. Let us continue the onslaught of destruction. Okay, so I'm going to add another one down here. Fire. He still has no protection against this. It's fine with me. We can start breaking things. Add another one. Can I get that sniper? Yes, I can. Alright, so I think I want to break this up here, just to stop him from having uh, the height advantage. But I don't want to be break spending the uh, shotgun shots on it. I really don't want to be spending much of any shots on it. But I can get myself some machine gunners over here. A couple of uh, mini upgraded machine gunners. They can break things nicely. Can I get the snipe? Nope. Upgrade this guy. You see how the swarm missiles are flying above? I don't like that. I like when they splash against this. Alright, so I'm actually going to spend a little bit of, res of these resources. Or by resources, I mean shots. Come on, come on, repair. Oh boy, you're playing a fire there. There's other one down. I think it would be a worthwhile investment for me to get a couple flak as well. Right, he's aiming for these now. It's good for me. So I can just fire out here. Oh! Went clean through. That's unfortunate. Okay, then I need to have the rockets just running down his front here. This guy really likes building his snipers right there. Got it. Okay then. I can work on a factory or more rockets. I think better would be a flak at this point. Okay, so I can no longer defend that rocket, which is going to be a problem for me. And just put an exposed flak right here.
Go on, open it. I know you wanna. Ooh. Can we get it? Not quite. Fire, 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 no! Ooh. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Can I fire this one before it falls? Oh, good. You just fire everything. Even if it's not terribly effective. I've got the energy for it, might as well. Speaking of energy, let's get another one of these because I can. Rebuild this. Take out the sniper again. I wonder if this guy has like background snipers, like a sniper behind his sniper. There you go. Alright, no damage. At least no significant damage. If I can get this third third rocket going, he's not gonna have the um, the resources to deal with it. There's just no way. Alright. There we go. Disconnect that. Now, if his missiles reset before firing, then they should crash into there, like so. That'll remove some of his damage. There we go, clean that out. So now he's just got a lot of metal, making these bullet weapons not so effective, and these missile weapons much, much more effective. I'll save up to fire them all at once. But I want to keep him from building that. Despite it not being that big of a threat, it's nice to, to stop the incoming DPS a little bit. Alright, missiles are online. He still has no anti-missile defenses or anti-rocket defenses, so I can just kind of do this. I'm going to keep these minigunners here available to uh, keep that in check. All I have to do is just keep firing these rockets, and there's no way for him to come back from this. Three, rockets is, three rocket launchers here is like the critical point where... Um, you cannot rebuild faster. They will take up more more resources to repair than than it costs to take it than it costs to fire. And they're done. And I am banned. And with that I'll leave off this episode. Don't forget to leave a like and make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date and get notified whenever we send out more videos. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Later!